Well, it's time to get an update on the business news. And for that, I'm joined on set by Yuka Royer. Hi, Yuka. Hello, Hexi. Uh, we're starting uh, with a scandal that's been hitting some of the world's largest banks. Several global banks uh, have been named in media reports, accused of moving huge sums of illicit funds over a period of almost 20 years. That's right, $2 trillion of potentially dirty money. The International Consult Consortium of Investigative Journalists, together with BuzzFeed, made the revelation based on leaked US government documents known as FinCEN files. The ICU is the same group that revealed the Panama Papers back in 2015. 108 international media outlets from 88 countries contributed to the new investigation about dirty money dealings by big name banks. Erin Noganki reports. Some of the world's major banks' most guarded secrets thrust into the spotlight. A trove of more than 2,500 files sent first to BuzzFeed News and then to the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists sheds new light on the involvement of major banks in illicit money flows of more than $2 trillion. The files, which implicate financial institutions like HSBC, JP Morgan and Deutsche Bank, contain information about transactions banks believe could be a part of money laundering schemes, fraud or other illegal activities. Experts warn the new revelations could have major consequences for the banks involved. It's probably one of the worst things that can happen in the banking sector is when you get your hands caught in the proverbial money laundering cookie jar. This is really, really bad stuff here. Not only is it going to ruin the reputation of the bank globally, but particularly in China where they do a lot of business, if they get put on the blacklist there, where are they going to be doing business? This is the problem. Known as suspicious activity reports, the banks had filed the leaked documents with the U.S. Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN. Among the major revelations, that HSBC allowed millions of dollars from a Ponzi scheme to be transferred to accounts in Hong Kong despite knowledge of the scam, that a Russian oligarch used Barclays Bank to circumvent Western sanctions against him, and that Deutsche Bank moved dirty money for organized crime networks, terrorists and drug traffickers. The revelations also involve well-known international figures already suspected of fraud and corruption, including close Vladimir Putin ally Oleg Deripaska, Angolan billionaire Isabel Dos Santos, and Paul Manafort, a former Donald Trump associate already sentenced to four years in prison. Well, those damning revelations have hit the banks in question uh, on the stock market. In Hong Kong, HSBC's shares dropped to their lowest level since 1995. European stock markets opened in the red following that report, uh, banking shares suffering a heavy blow. Earlier, Asian stock markets traded lower as well, particularly Chinese shares. The Tokyo Stock Exchange is closed for a public holiday today. Video sharing app TikTok has averted a shutdown in the United States after an 11th hour approval by President Donald Trump of a deal between its Chinese owner, ByteDance, and U.S. tech firm Oracle and retail giant Walmart. Trump had signed an executive order back in August, giving ByteDance an ultimatum to sell TikTok's U.S. operations or face a shutdown on September the 20th. That deadline has now been postponed for another week, while the agreement is finalized. Accounts of the deal, though, uh, differ. The Chinese company said on Monday that it would own 80% of a newly created U.S. subsidiary, while Oracle and Walmart said earlier that majority ownership would be in American hands. Here's President Trump speaking over the weekend. I think it's a great deal for America. They'll be hiring at least 25,000 people. It'll most likely be incorporated in Texas. It'll be a brand new company. Uh, it will have nothing to do with uh, any outside land, any outside country. Uh, it will have nothing to do with China. It'll be totally secure. I can say that I have given the deal my blessing. If they get it done, that's great. If they don't, that's OK, too. Meanwhile, another Chinese-owned app, WeChat, received a, a, a lifeline from a U.S. court. A judge in San Francisco has blocked the Trump administration from forcing Apple and Google to remove the app for downloads. The judge said that the download ban would jeopardize freedom of speech more than is necessary to serve the government's interest in national security. Users of WeChat had filed a lawsuit against the administration's move. The app has had an average of 19 million users, active, daily active users in the United States. And that's it for business. Yuka, thank you very much for taking us through the day's business news.